We always start every tour locally in a borough called Brooklyn. In a small beachside community called Sheep's Head Bay. There on Nordstrom Avenue at the Knights of Columbus Hall <laughs> is a woman named Myrtle. Myrtle is the hat check girl. Myrtle has a reputation. And Myrtle has the hickeys to prove it. This is her story. Adorable. Hey, Myrtle! How's about going up to Ship's Head Bay? Not with you, hey. Why not? Because you are a married man, and I simply do not associate with married men. Since when? Yesterday? <laughs> Fresh. Listen. Gather around the stoop. I have a very interesting story to tell you. Oh, uh, Myrtle, not again! It's the story of my life. <laughs> it's practically a saga. I was born a poor but honest and respectable girl at 437 and a half Nordstrom Avenue. Papa worked in a factory. He loathed it. He loathed it. So after my education, where do I end up? Naturally, it's in a factory. Oh. Sometimes it got to be very monotonous. But I didn't mind. And one day, being desirous of a cigarette, I waltzed out onto the fire escape and I leaned over the railing frontwards and who should pass by? But the new foreman. Oh, he was adorable. His name was Yuko. So I made some pretense of not caring for him and I hollered, Hey there, you with the stars in your eyes. <laughs> he acquiesced. He was absolutely adorable. And the following Saturday night, we went to Coney Island. She's my Coney The night was young and so we went from place to place like crazy man. Gee, it must, must have been grand and all. And Hugo won me a cutie doll. Did you go to the movies? Yeah. What'd you see? Saw Marilyn Monroe at Niagara. Marilyn Monroe? Holy gee! She certainly doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> to throw the guns and dolls and hoops? Bet your life we looped a loop. Hugo took up his shirt and he rang the bell. He rang the bell? He rang the bell and just between you. And the cake pups. And I. We did everything money could buy. Oh, it was so perfectly marvelous. And then we went to his place. Captain. Oh, it was the first time I ever took off my shoes in a gentleman's quarters. <laughs> I shall skip the details and simply intimate. We spent a very pleasant weekend. Next day, I couldn't wait to tell my girlfriend, Cassandra, about the perfectly romantic experience that George truly had just experienced. So we had a rendezvous on the fire escape. She was all ears, so I told her. And then she told me that Hugo was a married man. So I told her to mind your own business. The following Saturday afternoon, I was in Prospect Park, and there was Hugo playing with his three children. And I made some pretense of not recognizing him. Hey there! You with the stars in your eyes, listen to me, Hugo. As far as I am concerned, I want no part of you. You are a married man. Kindly stay out of my life forever. Yeah! <laughs> so that's why I can't go with you. You're married. Ah, oh, Myrtle, forget it. I don't want to forget it. 
I want to carry my torch. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it up. Hey, where'd you say you were going? Sheep's Head Bay. Sheep's Head Bay. Take me out to Sheep's Head Bay. Sheep's Head Bay. Sheep's at bay, and are they sun boys? Sheep's at bay.